Hello everybody. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm getting ready to make a uh, trellis for my grapes. <clears throat> Excuse me, as you can see, uh, I've got this grape vine. Actually, I have two grape vines. And they were uh, getting a little uh, tall there, so uh, I needed to start uh, thinking about building a trellis. And my other grape, as you can see, is down, down along this uh, bottom wall there. But anyway, uh, getting to the uh, trellis, what I did is first uh, I dug a 20, approximately a 21 inch hole uh, into this uh, ground right here. And I put uh, uh, some uh, uh, concrete and uh, uh, rocks at the bottom. And uh, I'm using this uh, quick creek right here quick creek uh, concrete mix and then I have a, I have a bag of uh, rocks uh, somewhere around here I'm not sure what I did with them uh, but they're around here anyway um, I have a 4x4 uh, four four, uh, pressure treated uh, piece of lumber here and it goes about this tall as you can see and so what I did is uh, once I dug that hole I went ahead and made sure that um, my my 4x4 four four was parallel to this wall right here. I have this wall and so what I wanted to do is make sure that I use this lumber here, this 2x6 this, uh, and I have it against this 4x4 four four, and that along with my uh, uh, leveling tool here, as you can see, I'm trying to step around my uh, lumber here. I have my leveling tool, so you can see that uh, it's nice and level there. And I think you can see it's nice and level there. So, but you still have to make sure that this uh, this side wall of the 4x4 is parallel and perpendicular to that back wall. And the way I did that was that I used my trusty uh, right angle here. So what I did is I put it against the wall there and I pushed it against here like that. And that's how I know that using that, that this side wall here is parallel to that wall there. So uh, I'm a little anal, and so I wanted to make sure that when I put this first block in, this first 4x4, uh, four four, that everything was parallel to my back wall, and everything subsequent to this 4x4 four four would be nice and uh, parallel and straight. So uh, I, here's my other, uh, two of my other 4x4s four right there. They're about uh, 8 feet tall. And uh, I have some other wood there. There's my other 4x4, four four, and I have a 2x6x10. Two by by and I'm going to use that as my cross beam. So I'm going to use this 2x6 here as my cross beam to go across it. As a matter of fact, I have two of those 2x6s, and I'm using this other brace right here. This is my other 2x6 that I'm using right now, so I'm just waiting for my concrete to dry. And then I have these over here. I'm going to use these as uh, um, pieces to go across uh, my uh, trellis. And this was a, a uh, two by four by ten. And what I did is I had Lowe's cut this wood for me so that they actually are now five feet in uh, length. And uh, I have four of them. The other one is uh, right over there. And um, so I'm going to use those at the top of my uh, trellis. So first things first, I need to let my concrete dry. And um, once it dries, then I'll go ahead and dig my other holes. And I'm going to make them about uh, four, I think about four feet across at the bottom there to about, uh, to about right about right here. I, I, yeah, I really need to put a uh, measuring stick out there so you can see. But uh, you'll see it as I uh, continue to 
construct this. So this is uh, just the first step. I know the wife has been on me about uh, getting this done. and Oh well, I'm trying to get it done, but I'm kind of slow right now doing it. But I will get it done. It will look very nice. At least I hope it will. And uh, we'll see how it goes from there. So my next uh, step is to dig the hole. And let me show you the uh, hole digger that I built, or that I used actually. Excellent hole digger. I recommend that if you're, buy if you're going to dig a hole, you should get this. This is a, uh, oh, the hole digger that I used. And it's this, uh, I just got this from a low, I mean, uh, eBay. And it's, um, there was a, num a number on it. I can't, um, I don't know if I can find it or see it just yet. Oh, wait, this is it. Maybe this is it right here. Uh, no, not that's not it. But anyway, I think you all recognize this this particular brand of a uh, hole digger. This thing works great. I dug my uh, 21 inch hole in about uh, 15 minutes, and I actually took some time between those 15 minutes. So uh, I wasn't going to try to dig a hole until I got something that I knew could work very well. And I recommend to anyone and everyone that you, uh, you get that. So that's the, uh, that's the plan. And uh, my grapes, by the way, uh, this is a, uh, a, uh, a, frame, a um, uh, fl frameless, flameless, flameless, flame red grape. And then I had the uh, basic Thompson uh, Thompson grape, Thompson grape over here. This is my Thompson grape, as you can see, it's sort of growing along the uh, the bottom wall down here. And uh, so I need to get that up uh, pretty soon. And I'll get that up probably in about a next couple of days or so. But anyway, I just want to show you this, and I will continue to show you the rest of my uh, construction as I go along. So I hope you all enjoy this, and uh, I will uh, talk to you later. Okay, this is uh, day four, actually. And uh, you can see that I'm showing you once again the original post that I put in. But if I pan to the right, you'll see that I have now my second post put in. And actually, it's a little taller than my uh, original post and uh, that's okay and then if I pan to my left you can see that I have my other two posts put in and I just put in my uh, post to the far end I just put that in today and so I'm letting that uh, dry at the uh, with the concrete right now anyway I uh, squared everything up and uh, plumbed it and make sure that everything was at a right angle to one another. So now uh, what I did notice was that um, all the heights, the heights, heights, how high my uh, uh, posts are, they're all different uh, heights. And I originally wanted to be the height of the one that you're looking at right now, which is about six feet from the center of the, well, from the ground point. But I noticed that when I put them all in, uh, they all looked pretty, uh, the taller ones looked pretty good compared to the other ones. So now I'm contemplating, do I want to try to rise or raise the uh, height of the far one uh, to the right there? Or do I want to cut all my posts to the same height as the uh, original? So that's my... Uh, decision that I'm going to make in the next day or so while the uh, concrete, this last bit of concrete dries. And you can uh, sort of see where I have everything. Anyway, by the time I uh, make that decision, I'll be putting on the top uh, bars or the top, uh, I guess, uh, I guess the crowns, I, I guess you can call them this, uh, this piece right here. That'll be going across as well as a, uh, I have a second, uh, piece that's uh, identical to it and I'll be putting that one across also so uh, no I take that back that's not going across I'm sort of forgetting what I was doing I'm going to take this five foot bar right there 
and that'll be going from left to right on these posts and I'll do the same thing on the far end with a uh, one of these uh, posts over here that I have but anyway as you see it uh, comes along uh, you'll see what I'm doing I'm taking my time I'm trying to uh, it's a little hot out here in uh, sun sunny Southern California this uh, afternoon but anyway uh, I'm making slow progress but uh, it's gonna look pretty nice I think when I'm finally done with it okay uh, next time bye okay this is day three or maybe not necessarily day three but the third time I'm approaching this so now what I've done is I cut off the tops on all four sides so that they would be nice and uh, even and level across uh, I decided to go ahead and utilize the uh, initial measurements that I had for the for the uh, post on the back side on the right over here uh, so now my posts are six feet tall uh, approximately and now I'm getting ready to uh, add the uh, tops to them okay everybody I uh, finished my uh, trellis here and uh, so let's take a closer look and the way that I uh, connected it is um, if you look from the back side here I don't know if you can see it clearly I have those uh, braces for the two by six connected to the four by four. And then at that point, uh, everything else I used um, were uh, deck screws to uh, connect everything together. So, uh, uh, you can see some of the work there. I went to, I went ahead and painted also the uh, the uh, the wood. Uh, the wife wanted it painted, so I went ahead and did that. And uh, I went ahead and connected my grapes. As you can see, my grapes here. This grape right here is a flaming uh, red grape. And over on this side is a seedless Thompson or a Thompson seedless grape. That's this one right here. It's a little, it's a little uh, under the weather only because uh, I transplanted it the other day. So it's going through a shock right now, but I think it'll uh, recover and uh, be okay. Anyway. Uh, this is the work that I did. Let me step back a little bit so I can get a more broad view. And it wasn't uh, too difficult. It took me about uh, a total of about uh, four days, but I really uh, used only like a couple of hours per day to do it. And it uh, didn't cost a whole lot maybe about a total of about uh, 60 bucks the uh, four by fours that the four four by fours cost about 40 bucks and the re remaining wood was about 20 bucks so anyway uh, I hope you all uh, like what I did and um, hopefully it's inspiration for someone else to uh, try it themselves okay have a great day